but how does God tell you that you're going to meet these people again? Um, I don't know. I, 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 I don't know. Yeah, this is this is one of the things about the language when we start talking about God, and this is not this is not a problem with you, man. And and I can appreciate having at least somewhat been there. The idea that you've been you've been convinced most of your life that someday you're going to go to heaven and you're going to be reunited with all your loved ones and everything's going to be wonderful. So is he saying he grew up in a Baptist church or whatever, but he never believed in an afterlife? And the very idea that this might not be true um, is not just potentially uh, terrifying; it can be almost traumatizing. Um, and I think this is one of the disservices. Yeah, yeah and oh gosh, huh? I'm, I'm yeah. no good when people cry. I think this is one of the disservices. No, I didn't. No, I, didn't. I was just thinking about my sister. I lost my sister when I was 13. And Unless she's crying about that. But I feared, yeah, I always believed I would. This is one of the things where I think religions have done a disservice. Not religions, you don't have to get emotional and think that it's religion's fault that you have feelings. God made everybody with feelings, so whether you're emotional or one of those people, a rare kind of person who doesn't really have emotions, who's not really empathetic or some kind of, you know, psychopathic kind of personality, or sociopathic, whatever they call them. Um, you know, I don't see why it's relevant if you get emotional. That doesn't mean that, that's not proof that you don't have the truth just because you get upset thinking about stuff. That means that religion um, or God is cruel cool and so on. Yeah. yeah. To all of us, because death is a natural part of life. Exactly. And what religions have done, God made us that way. it's awful. Yeah. And what religions have <laughs> done is crazy. put death in a context. What religion has done, because he assumes that every religion is man-made, which um, paganism was man-made. Frustration, anxiety, yeah. mourning, by propping up a story, oh, I'll get to meet them again. Now, even if that were true... Okay, I'll just go back. Um, yeah, but religions also have hellfire. So, um, not all of them, but monotheistic religions do. I don't know if Judaism, actually, if they believe in hell or not, but... Um, anyway, say a, a punishment, a lake of fire, whatever. Uh, what was I going to say? Cutting my lunch here. So, um, that has more to do with justice and stuff than just, oh, you're going to meet your loved ones. Because you, know? um, you might not meet them. Some of them, yeah, so some of them are not going to believe in God, right? So then they won't go to paradise. So it's not like you're believing in God just because you want to meet your family later in paradise. Okay, that's nonsense. So that when death comes, Unless people don't ever think um, about the other part of it, which is where just other a people surprise, go, and shocking, they don't believe that. I can't imagine a parent losing a child, but it but helps do us think to about deal that. with it better. And if it turns out then that there's an afterlife, anyway, bonus, okay. Okay, well, even if you lost your child and then you think there's nothing after, then you'll just say, well, now, you know, they suffered, but now they're gone, and that's better for them. So, actually, it would be even easy to believe in atheism more than in a hellfire like an afterlife where some people get punished. So the people run to atheism. Again, it's, you could say it that way too. It's just another side of the, the coin about um, what people want to believe. You want to believe there's no God so that you can feel happy um, knowing that when you die, that, that's the end of everything and you'll never suffer again. Correct? I mean, you could look at it that way too. Right. It's a bonus, but at least it not depending it seems hypocritical on the to think that encourages oh, us it's to only, do better in our uh, actions no, in the one only life that we know we get. That want to feel good about stuff. But atheists don't want to feel good about stuff. I'm sure. Wait, what did you mean that I didn't treat her right? Uh, he wasn't. I don't, no, 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 not you specifically. You, he's not saying that you didn't treat your sister right. Yeah. He's, he's saying that in, in general, if you tell people this life that you have where you're bumping into other people, street, off people like that. that's the only life that you're going to have, that's the only life that they're going to have, and you bump into them and you just, that person just cut, not you, sorry. If Steve bumps into Bob and Steve cusses out Bob and they go their separate ways and Steve goes, you know, I really shouldn't have done that. Well, you know, when I see him in heaven, then I'll make it right. Yeah, they're, they're, I'm not, I wasn't talking about you. There are people who have a, who's one of their concerns about this is, I didn't get to say goodbye. I didn't tell them I loved them enough. It's not about mistreating. Well, see, oh, well. She started, she got emotional about her sister, and then they latched onto that to kind of attack religion. <laughs> and now they're saying, no, no, we didn't mean you. So they had to back off because they realized uh, this is getting too personal. Um, I think atheists sometimes do get too personal with people who are complete strangers and who they don't know. And they should not do that. Um, you don't know this person, what she's going through, what she's gone through, and um, so you should back off. And I think they just uh, realized that, which is a good thing. All right, I'm just going to stop here then.